And really, that's not what this is all about. This is about a group of men <coughs> who are known and want to be known by others. This is about a group of men who want to walk like the, like the lady, the, like the woman at the well. She goes back to a place where everybody knows all of her past and she says, come and see. This is about a group of men who go to the people who are the unloved and the uncared and the unknown <coughs> wherever you are and says, you have no idea. I have a place where I can go that I can share all my thoughts, all those things that I think in my head that I would never say out loud. And we go and we pray and we move into this relationship because I so desperately want to be known and to be loved. <coughs> and the woman at the well, as you did, somebody reached back to you and they come into that place and they say, we came because of what you said, what you told us this place was about. But now, We've been in a place where Jesus was no, more, no longer a name in a book. Where Jesus was no longer a story. Where Jesus actually became real. He became a person. He became more than what I used to say he was my savior. Man, he's, he's my Lord and he's my savior and I have a relationship with them. So what do we do with that? We turn around and we extend our hand and we bring somebody with us. There's a group of guys, um, 64. 64 guys who crowd, have crowded in a room this past week. 64 guys who sat in this same room this last week. A group that has grown, who was sitting forever at 30 and has now grown to 64. A group that has over the past three weeks had 90, <coughs> new, 90 guys coming in, 90 different men coming in to the same thing that you're, you're doing on Saturday mornings. Because what they're doing is they're turning around and they're, they're extending their hands to come and see. You need to come to a place and my life needs to show that. Because see, people outside, people outside of this, they don't, most of that time, they don't really get Jesus. All right. But what they do get is the way that we live. When they see <coughs> what really goes on, they get the way we live and then Jesus becomes real and that's where change happens we've been told as soon as we outgrow this room we can have the entire restaurant they'll put the few people that come in here early mornings here we ought to be packed out in here we ought to be a place where we have to turn people away because of what they see in us and because we're walking along and grabbing everybody along the way. This group of guys, the 64 guys on Monday night, are, are the same group as you. They're the engaged group from Monday night. They're the group that split off from us two years ago when we were running at the 60s and we couldn't fit any more people in. And now that Monday night group is getting ready to split again. And we're going to do two Monday nights because we get it. And these guys that I signed a contract with, they've, signed, they've agreed that this is important. This is where life changed. When I can sit across a table and I'm no longer sitting in a row. Where God wants us to no longer sit in the row where I don't know what's going on on the other end, but he wants to, us to come close.
around a table and be a part of each other's lives. So this week, as we finish up the discussion today, what are you going to do? Is it important? <clears throat> because ultimately, it's always got to be about somebody else. All right. The food's here. It's okay. All right. I don't really come for the food. I come for the relationships. I come because I want to be known and I want to be loved. And I want people to know me for who I am. <clears throat> with all of my flaws, with all of my issues. And I guarantee you, there are hundreds of guys out there who just need to be known and to be loved. So this week, I was thinking, what do you, what do, you do? For you, Tim, Billy, I'm sure y'all are going to go to the um, Truth Works on Tuesday night. How many men are sitting in that room around that table that you could say, why don't you come? Come on with me. Let, let's do this together. Let's build this relationship. Let's do more than just a Bible study. Let's start doing life together. Scott, Steve, who else is in there? Uh, Ray. Divorce care starts this week. How many more men are sitting around those tables who are hurting? That need more than just that. That need to be known and to be loved, to have men speak truth into their lives. Wherever you are, whether it's just sitting in a row, maybe it's, maybe it's like me just running into an old school friend and say, hey, why don't you come and come join us? Why don't you just be a part of who we are? Why don't you see that men, as us, we do things differently. It's not about standing up and lecturing. It's about what happens at the tables and the relationships <coughs> that are being built. On the parking team, on the praise and worship team, there are guys that are in your lives that need to be a part of us. Because you know what? As they come in, as you come in, I see God in a whole different way and my relationship with God changes because of my relationship with you. And that's what he wants. So the final question of the day. It's all outward focused today. Next week, we're going to come back and go inward. But this week, it's outward. What can you do to be the woman at the well, to go back and say, he told me everything about me? Come and see. Come and see what this could really look like, what community could really look like, who Jesus could really look like in your life. <clears throat> come and see. Around the tables, ask that question. What environments am I in this week? Maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's like we talked about, Truth Works, where there are dozens of men that need this. Okay? One, two, three, go.